Here at the Car Gurus UK YouTube channel, we cover cars of all shapes and sizes. Whether it's looking into the story of a particularly interesting model, buying guides of some of the UK's best selling cars, or reviewing some of the latest models to hit the road. And today it's the turn of the Volkswagen Passat GTE, the updated version. Clearly then, it makes sense to subscribe, so here's your friendly reminder to do just that, as well as ringing the bell icon to turn on notifications. So what about this new Passat then? Well, first of all, it's not new. It's more of a midlife facelift of the eighth generation Passat. And just like before, you can get it in saloon or estate guys like this one. Volkswagen say it's the kind of car that you can throw into the same bucket as a BMW 3 Series or Audi A4, but as you can see, it is larger, both on the outside and on the inside. The boot on this estate model is simply huge and the wide opening and flat load lip make it really easy to pack. And lowering the rear seats is as simple as that. Those rear seats are extremely commodious as well with enough room for one tall adult to sit behind another and still have leg room to spare. This being the GTE means it's a plug-in hybrid, so you can drive it in full electric mode or you can drive it as a conventional hybrid using the combined efforts of the internal combustion engine and electric motor. It does mean that it could be a very cheap car to run and it also allows Volkswagen to make significant CO2 savings in the official tests. This GTE model has been part of the Passat lineup for quite a while and it's been updated for this most recent version, which is good news because the previous electric motor range was just 31 miles and it wasn't very realistic. It's now 43 and that has helped the official fuel economy figure climb to 217 miles per gallon. Now, whether or not you achieve anything like those figures will depend not only on your driving style, but also how often you plug in. Do so via a home wall box and you can expect a full charge of the 13 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery to take around two to three hours. You can control how the battery and petrol engine are working with these buttons down here. Press E mode for quill electric mode, or it works as a hybrid, juggling the petrol engine and electric motor to be as efficient as possible. And if you press GTE, it combines both power sources to get you the best performance possible. That sounds quite exciting. We should point out while we're here that this particular car has been fitted with the Advance Pack, which gets you this larger touchscreen infotainment system and Volkswagen's digital dials, which work really well. It certainly feels like a very premium product in here. But if you haven't got the Advance Pack, you still get lots of standard equipment on your Passat. For example, you've got LED headlights and also a wireless connection for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, let's see what it's like to drive. When I set off, the car is in full electric mode, which is both serene and responsive. And you can stay in this mode all the way up to motorway speeds, and there's enough acceleration to be able to keep up with traffic. When the 1.4 litre petrol engine, which is turbocharged, cuts in, it's seamless and it's quiet. In fact, the way it's been integrated with the hybrid system is generally very impressive or at least it is until you really start to pick up the pace. You see, by calling this a GTE, Volkswagen is implying it's going to be sporty like one of its GTI models. And the fact it has 218 brake horsepower and does 0 to 62 in just 7.2 seconds does seem to back that up. However, in reality, it's just not sharp or engaging enough to be fun. The unpredictable feel through the brake pedal certainly doesn't help when it comes to creating an engaging driving experience. It's caused by the Passat juggling between regenerative braking to top up the battery and traditional friction braking, and it means you never quite know just how hard you'll need to brake. And that inconsistency doesn't just apply to how the car stops, it also applies to how the car accelerates. Because when you're driving quickly, you can never be too sure how the electric motor, petrol engine and seven speed dual clutch gearbox interact with each other. And so you can never really get into a groove with the Passat GTE. 
throw in steering that is slow to respond and very light along with the fact that the whole car just feels a bit heavy and stodgy and it doesn't make for a sporty or GTI like drive. What we say then is forget about the Passat being exciting to drive and instead enjoy what it's good at, which is wafting along the miles in quiet, chilled comfort. It's the kind of car you can get in after a long day's work and just feel instantly relaxed. Because with a Passat, everything is in order and everything is calm. And that's even more so when it's being propelled along by full electric. Throw in the potential savings in fuel and company car tax and it's easy to see why this particular Passat may appeal. Bottom line is, if you're buying a Passat GTE and you're expecting a GTI-like driving experience, then you'll feel shortchanged. If, however, you quite like the idea of how a plug-in hybrid might fit into your life, and you want a quiet, roomy car that is as solidly built as a bank vault, then this could be the car for you. Is the Passat the plug-in hybrid for you? Let us know in the comments. And remember to check out cargoos.co.uk where you can easily find great deals from top rated dealers on your next car. Plus, please do hit the subscribe and like buttons if you've enjoyed this video.